opinion with a great book by Earl Lederman written in 1925, 85 years ago, on the science of wrestling, art of jiu-jitsu. And this move right here is called a wrist and further ankle lock. And you're going to be amazed at what you're going to learn with this fantastic move right here. So look how he started. He's setting it up. You grab the guy's left wrist. And, and he, you can do it on the other side, too. So you've grabbed his left wrist, and you've placed it deep inside your body. You pull it downwards at the same time, keeping your left elbows deep into the armpit. So it's important here that you keep your elbow into the guy's armpit here, and you have his wrist tight. So that keeps it locked. You're squeezing him in your armpit. You have it locked against his armpit. Now, what do you think he's going to do from there? You're going to be amazed you don't have... You are, you are so wrong on what you think he's going to do. Because what he's going to actually do is he's going to dive underneath. So let's read. Let's look at the picture first. He's got underneath and he's grabbed the guy's ankle. So look what he said he's done. Then we're going to come back and start. Dive in under the left arm as shown. Lock it tightly. At the same time, reach for his right ankle with your left hand. So you went from here. And now he dove in. So he spun backwards to him and reached and pulled the left arm across his body. At the same time, he reached down and got the ankle. So let me try and shrink these a little bit so you can sort of see them a little faster here. So you went from here. And now he's dove in there, pulled him across, and reached down and grabbed the guy's leg.